Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, Saturday morning, and it's time to make some soap. So, what I'm going to be doing today is going to be pretty simple, or at least that's what I'm hoping, a simple plan. I'm just using my slab mold, um, and I'm just going to do a four color drop swirl in it. Um, I took the liner out and lined it with paper so I can get a little bit more soap in it, but I'll be doing, the colors will be white, black, green, and ultramarine violet, which generally turns purple after it gels. I'm going to be scenting it with Brambleberry's Rose Quartz. Um, that's the only problem I may possibly foresee, but I don't think I will. It does do a little bit of acceleration, but it's pretty minor, so I think if I'm cautious with the stick blender, it'll probably be okay. If it does start to set up too much, I'll just Probably do a spoon, not maybe a spoon swirl. We'll see. I think it'll be okay. So let's get our lye water mixed in here. And I just realized I'm being a bad boy. I have my gloves on. I don't have my goggles on, but I am going to take care of that right now. So here we go. Yes. Let's make a little noise. We'll get this into four containers, colored, scented, and poured. And I think that just about did it. can always stick blend more if I have to, and I probably will with the titanium dioxide and the white. The titanium dioxide. Uh, I can't do two things at once, sorry. The titanium dioxide and the ultramarine probably will have to be stick blended just a little bit. So let's get this into our four containers. And close is good enough. Tell you what, to guess just from the first time that was pretty darn close. And I will go ahead and scrape this out to get as much of the soap in as possible. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. colors in and I am going to pour in this order. So do our white. And I will stir these in first. Then see if I have to stick blend. these in first, lightest to darkest. Just something about titanium dioxide, it just, for some reason, stick blending, it really, really brings out the white. That looks nice and it's holding up well, so just a real quick glass of the stick blender I think is warranted and safe. And then I will hand stir my colors in. Yeah, 
Yeah, that just made it so much wider and nicer. Much better. There we go. Now, if I do run into a problem with the pour, this is where it will be. But this is just mild acceleration. It's not major. It doesn't rice. Doesn't discolor. Really sticks well, and it smells good. Obviously, you see my mold. I need a little more practice lining my mold with paper, but if you would see my attempt at wrapping Christmas presents, you'd probably understand. For me, this pour makes a big mess, and I just can't help it, so. Yeah, we're setting up now. I'll have to move a little faster at this point on. Alright, one more pass and then I'll put a nice top on it. I'm going to jiggle this around. And let's put a top. So I'm going to try to pour four colors in straight lines down the length of the mold. Notice I said try.
people. Okay, boy, I did fail at pouring a straight line. And take my thermometer and just make some swirls. Pretty simple today, and I think thickening, if anything, probably helped it. So I will spray this with some rubbing alcohol to help prevent soda ash. Let it sit for about five minutes, spray it again, and put it in a nice warm spot to get a nice gel. And there we have it, everybody. Not too bad. I kind of like it. So anyway, I will see you later for the cutting, and thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and it's time to cut the soap I made. So, this time I lined my mold with paper instead of using the liner because I was able to get more soap into it. I like the liner better. I will be using the liner from now on. Plus, this really cool soap cutter I, or log splitter I have that my friend Lisa gave me uh, is just perfectly set to cut just the right size bar when I use that liner in it. So, let's just go ahead and split this. But I think I'm going to have some um, logs that are not the same shape because I um, can't do two things at once. So let's see, will that work? Actually, no, I won't because I'm going to be, but never mind, don't pay attention to me. Actually, that is going to work after all. So now, I have two equally shaped logs. And oh, look at the inside. Look at that. Really nice. So, let's lay these aside and cut these. But, this will actually cut into a nice bar after all. Work better than I thought. So, let's set this aside. Yeah, I really like that log splitter. And then let's get you over here, and let's cut these logs. Yeah, those look nice. I like this. So, let's get you where you can see. Oh, yeah, I like this. That's really nice. But I am going to use the liner next time instead of the paper. And this rose quartz just smells so good. And the acceleration, if you watch the making video, the acceleration was really minimal. Um, I was still able to get this nice pour, so really happy with that. And the rose quartz really sticks in your cold process, and it smells good.
like this. a thin one for me to test like I always do and then let's go ahead and cut the other log while I have us here and I have us going oh, that's a really nice one that's the back side it's not much Well, that one's not much, but the front looks nice, so. And then I have two small, thin pieces for myself. So, all right. So that alone is almost, I generally try to get about 25 bars. That's 23. So, doing it that way, I, out of just one batch, got almost enough bars. But I'll just have a few extras this week when I go. But, oh. This is really nice. I like that color combination. So really happy with those. So anyway, folks, y'all have a great rest of the weekend, and I will see you next week for another batch of soap. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.